So today I'm about to show you how to make low content journals and notebooks like these with literally nothing on the inside. But I will be sharing two tricks. These are top secrets that no one on the internet is talking about. These are going to help you actually sell these books on Amazon and make thousands a month doing so. And on top of that, yes, there's more. We have a giveaway today, y'all, so you won't wanna miss it. What's up, guys? This is Monique, and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you can use, but first, if you are new here, hello, bonjour, hola, aloha, konnichiwa, wagwan, shalom, assalamu alaikum, namaste. So we gonna get right into this because there is money to be made and if you are looking to make money online, I believe right now is the best time for you to do it. And selling these low content books is going to be one of the best ways for you to get started making money online. I'm telling you, anyone can do it. And in case you just so happen to not be familiar with low content books, let me give you a quick summary in less than 10 seconds, classes in session. Low content books are books that have minimal or no content on the inside of them, which requires zero writing, on your part. So in order to make these books, we are gonna need a little bit of an assist, y'all. So I have been using a wonderful tool called BookBoat. They have a ton of templates for you to choose from. And when you select whichever template you want to go inside of your books, they put it in there. And this is where I want to share the first trick that no one is talking about. I'm telling you, you're probably gonna hear this here first. I don't know why everybody's being stingy with this information, but I wanna make sure that you can get it so that you can be successful on this journey to trying to become a huge seller on Amazon. And it's gonna start with choosing the right book, but it's a certain way that you have to go about it. I haven't even shared this before. So I am currently logged into the BookBoat application and on the left over here, you're gonna see this research tab. So under the research tab, we're gonna go down to the cloud section. I've talked about the cloud so many times. It actually helps you to look at the best sellers in any of these categories over here, but we're not gonna go about it the way that we normally do because this is the way that's going to help kind of remove a lot of that competition because that's a lot of the hard part when it comes to selling these books is fighting against the competition to be seen and found by people. So we have a way to combat that. What we're gonna actually do is go on over here and select top 500. We want to expand our search a bit. And then we're going to keep it at notebooks. You can look under journals if you prefer. And it's going to come up with the top 500 current bestsellers on Amazon. And what I normally would tell you to do is look for those top selling ones. We'll look at how many sales is getting monthly. Right here you see 733. Over here we got 640. But we're not going to do that. What's going to help you because those bestsellers have a lot of competition. So what we wanna do instead is scroll all the way to the bottom. We don't wanna to go to the top where everybody's fighting to try to make all of the same books like those. They're still having some pretty decent sales. You see 211 here, 211 there. And then you can just scroll through and find some topics that you are interested in. And I kind of already pre-did this to save us some time. And what I found was two things. This inventory log book and then this NICU nurse notebook. So I chose those two because this next step is really important. What you want to do once you find a title that you are interested in creating, a book that you want to create and sell. You want to go to Amazon and you want to search for that title. So we're going to look up the inventory log book on Amazon and what you want to look at is the result. And the results that you really want to be targeting to creating your books is anything that has less than 1,000 results. If it's kind of close to it, like this one has 2,000, that may be something you can consider. But for the most part, in order to start seeing some sales, you want to make sure the competition 
is low. That's the trick, I'm telling y'all. Now you may not get as many sales as the top selling books this way, but I don't wanna guarantee it, but for the most part, you should start at least seeing some kind of sales coming in, and that will help you to establish your presence on Amazon so that you can go ahead on to the top and be one of those bestsellers. So I'm not too crazy about the results because it's not under the thousand that we wanted. So I'm looking for the NICU nurse book. And when I find that one, look here, it has 799 results, which is less than a thousand that we wanted to have. So this would be a great book to create. And this is really going to be the longest part of your journey with creating these books is researching and making sure you find the right books. But you wanna put as much time as you can into that because you don't wanna just be sitting there just creating books for nothing. We wanna make money. And just to throw another topic out there that's really good, I didn't really search right now, but I'm trying to give y'all a little cheat sheet, little cheat codes. And another good one is going to be a blood pressure log book. And if you can see, that one has 1,000 results as well. So that's going to be one that you can consider creating. So now we are ready to start creating our book. And right under what that research tab was, we're going to go to create. And if you've seen me create these books before, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. I'm kind of going to speed up this process though, because I've talked about it so much and I do want to get through one more thing with you all. But in case you haven't seen me do this, once you come here, you're going to be brought to this page. You have the option to do paperback or hardcover books. I keep it simple and do paperback. We're going to select cover and interior because we'll be working on it at the same time. I'm gonna create the NICU nurse book, so we'll give that the title. Keep the tab open of the book that you were looking at in the cloud, which was this one, because it's gonna tell you pretty much everything that you need to know as far as how to create this book, what's working, what's selling. They did a six by nine, they did 122 pages. You don't have to overdo it. If that works, then if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we're gonna keep it six by nine. We're gonna keep it black and white interior. They did 122 pages. Let's just go 124 just because. All right, and you can choose to let it bleed. Bleed means it'll just print to the edges of the page. And we're gonna create the project. So right here is the cover page that we're going to work on. And we just wanna go up here to cover template to remove that cover template because that just tells you what goes where and you can look at that in your own time but now we have a blank canvas and on the right side is the front cover on the left is going to be your back cover so what i'm going to start with is adding text to it you just tap on that little text box we're going to click on heading and we're going to type in nick you we could drag that to the side and then i'm going to add a second heading for nurse that book had life on it. You can add nurse life if you want to. And honestly, I just play around with the fonts. The fonts can be found up here. You can just click on that and change it around. Make it fancy if you want to. And you can also change the color of it over here. But I'm going to leave it black. And now I want a nice background. I want something kind of neutral. So we're going to go and look at what kind of graphics we have. You want to go right here to that picture tab. Click on that. And then we click on Pixabay. And then you can search for whatever type of stuff you want to. So I pretty much played around with some backgrounds until I found one that I like. And I also played around with the fonts. And this is what I have come up with so far. But I feel like it's still missing something. So I'm going to go to the photos and I'm going to see what else I can find. Look up nurse maybe. And, and I think I'm going to add this right here to it just for that extra little oomph. You can add more or less to it. Like I said, I'm just trying to keep it simple for the sake of time today. But we're going to go ahead on and add the interior to it. And when I click on page one, then I go to this little maze here. This is where all of the templates can be found that you can use inside of your book. It's so much to choose from. Like I told you earlier, if you're going to do the blood pressure log, they actually have a blood pressure log for you to select. Then you can choose all the pages that you wanted to, and then you're done with your book. 
So at your own time, you can just go through and find all the different things that are in there. And then that's how you can also go to Amazon and search for different topics based on the templates that they have as well. But we're doing like a notebook journal type of thing. So you can do rude lines, which I think that's what I'm going to go with more of something like this. So let's go with that one. And then you're going to select what pages you want it to. And the easiest way to do that, because we're doing a low content notebook, they're all going to be the same page. Just click on select all. Make sure you deselect that cover page because it's going to select that as well. And then we're going to hit next. And we'll leave everything here as is. Hit submit. And then bada bing, bada boom. You have a NICU nurse life book. And it has all of these lined note pages in it so you're done so at this point what you want to do is you're going to go to this download tab you're going to click on it and make sure you download the current project in cmyk cmyk will allow this to be uploaded to digital products or physical which because we're putting it on amazon kdp and they'll be printing the books for us so we need something for physical products so make sure you choose that when you are saving it and once you have everything downloaded then you are ready to upload it to Amazon and you will have to do so on Amazon KDP that's Kindle Direct Publishing and that's where you're going to be uploading the cover page that you made that's where you're going to be uploading your manuscript to you'll be giving it the title setting the price all of those great things now I've went through this so many times before so I don't want to take up much time to go through it yet again but what I will be doing is I'll be putting one of my old videos up here for you to click on where you can go and follow along how I did that process to uploading it to Amazon so that you don't miss out on it okay when it comes to uploading it to Amazon you do not have to worry about printing it and you will not have to worry about shipping it to customers when a customer places an order what will happen is Amazon will print that order for you now they will take a fee from whatever you charged that person who bought the book and then also they will be shipping it to the customer you do not have to pay for shipping worry about anything with shipping they will be taking care of that so the next trick I wanted to share with you that will help to convert potential buyers into customers is going to be something that's really important here because when it comes to low content books Amazon has stopped showing the look inside section but there is something that you can do to add pictures to that section so that people can see what it looks like on the inside and that can be done on your Amazon KDP site where you're uploading the book to there's a tab over there called marketing and under marketing there's something called a plus content and under the a plus content is where you can go through and you can upload photos that you take of your book which i have a mac so i'm able to just screenshot what my interior looks like and crop it and then i can add it to the a plus content section i wanted to show you guys but it is a really extended process if that is something that you are interested in me really going into detail and showing you then let me know down in the comments and i will do that but in the meantime i will also put a link down to an article that really shows you step by step how to do it and it's going to be so simple and easy but that's one way to make you stand out against your competition and another thing i always tell people to do is make sure that you you are getting some reviews if you have to ask your family to purchase this book and at least get five people to leave comments five comments is more than enough to get you started on getting more people to purchase your book now if you are still here at this point i want to thank you so so very much but i know you're probably here because you're excited about this giveaway but before i tell you the details of the giveaway let me let you know because some people don't say it book boat does have a fee in order for you to make the journals like i showed you or the notebooks like i showed you today even planners you can use the newbie plan and the newbie plan is 9.99 however with my 20% off coupon
coupon, you can get the newbie plan for $7.99, yo. I feel like that's a steal. You cannot beat that. But for the moment many of you have been waiting for, BookBoat has decided to do yet another giveaway. They have decided to give away an entire year of the professional plan, which is a step up from the newbie. That's the $19.99 one that allows you to do activity books. But they will be giving two lucky people an entire free year of the professional plan. The only thing that you have to do is click on the link down in the description and enter your email to win. That's it. And this giveaway will close on Thursday, which is December 15th at 11.59 p.m. And the winners will be emailed by BookBoat on Friday. So y'all make sure you check your email. But other than that, that is all that I have for you guys today. I thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we are out. Peace. <laughs>